Hello students, this is 5th video on rational numbers. In this video, I will explain to find the required rational numbers with respect to given rational numbers. In the first problem, I write 5 rational numbers which are smaller than 5 by 6. See, in very easy method, I will explain. 5 by 6, it is in p by q form, rational number, denominator is 6. Now, first I am writing some integers. Say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are whole numbers and also integers. All these are less than 5, okay? These numbers are less than 5, you know that. On the number line also, these numbers will fall on left side of 5, okay? Now, what I am going to make? Make right fractions with respect to 5 by 6, means 0 by 6, denominator I am making 6, 1 by 6. 2 by 6, 3 by 6, 4 by 6. All these rational numbers are less than 5 by 6. Okay, simple. This is the answer. So, first try to make like fractions. By that you can find. If numerator is less compared to 5, then automatically that number is less than 5 by 6. 0 less than 5, so 0 by 6 also less than 5, 5 by 6. 1 less than 5, 1 by 6 less than 5 by 6. 2 less than 5, so 2 by 6 also less than 5 by 6, like that, okay? Now write any 5 rational numbers between minus 3 and 0. This one also, I am going to make like fractions. Say, minus 3, I am writing as minus 3 by 1, same answer. Now multiplying both numerator and denominator by 10. What we will get here? Minus 30 by 10, okay? So 0, I am writing as 0 by 10, okay? See, these two like fractions. Now, in between these two, we have to find only 5 rational numbers. See, on the number line, imagine that if you move from here to right side, you will get minus 29 by 10. Once again, right side, minus 28 by 10, minus 27 by 10. I like that numbers up to minus 1 by 10, you will get. All these numbers lie between minus 30 by 10 and also 0 by 10. So, how many numbers are there like this? 29 numbers are there. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like that up to minus 29. 29 rational numbers I am writing here in between minus 30 by 10 and 0 by 10. It means they are lying between minus 3 and 0 only. Okay. Select any 5 numbers from this. Here, find 12 rational numbers between minus 1 and 2. Say, minus 1. I am writing minus 1 as minus 1 by 1. Now multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. Okay. 10 by 10. What you will get? Minus 10 by 10. Okay. Similarly, 2. 2 is nothing but 2 by 1. Okay. Now multiply both here also numerator and denominator by 10. You will get 20 by 10. See, these two are like fractions. In between these two, we can find easily. Imagine the number line. Minus 10 by 10. It lies left side of 0, 20 by 10, it is positive number, it lies right side of 0, minus 10 by 10, after that you will get minus 9 by 10, next minus 8 by 10, minus 7 by 10, minus 6 by 10, like this, once you will get 0 by 10 also, still go right side, you will get 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10, like that, up to 19 by 10, okay, all these lies between minus 10 by 10 and 20 by 10. All these rational numbers are greater than minus 10 by 10 and also less than 20 by 10. Okay. See, total how many numbers are there? These? Minus 9 to 0, 10 numbers, 1 to 19, 19 numbers, total 29 rational numbers are there. You can select any 12 rational numbers in this. Okay. Now, find 10 rational numbers between minus 3 by 4 and 5 by 6. These two not like fractions. So, take LCM of 4 and 6. Like this, you can take LCM. 4, 6. 2, 2s, 2, 3s. 2 to the 4, 4, 3, 12. 12 is LCM. So, what is LCM here? LCM is 12. So, minus 3 by 4. You have to make denominator 12. For that, minus 3 by 4. Multiply both numerator and denominator. 3 by 3. You will get minus 9 by 12. Okay. Similarly, here also 5 by 6. Make denominator as 12. For that, do multiplication both numerator and denominator by 2 by 2. So, 5 is a 10 by 6 to the 12. 
So these two once again here like fractions. In between this, minus 9 by 12, it lies left side of 0. 10 by 12, it lies right side of 0. After minus 9 by 12, you will get minus 8 by 12. Next, minus 7 by 12, minus 6 by 12, minus 5 by 12. And next, you will get 0 by 12 also. Still go right side. 1 by 12, 2 by 12, 3 by 12. Like that, up to 9 by 12, you can write. All these numbers are greater than minus 9 by 12. And also, less than 10 by 12. Okay? See, so how many numbers are there? Minus 8 by 12 to 0 by 12. These are 9 numbers. Here, 1 to 9, 9 numbers. 9, 9, 80 numbers are there. They are asking only 10 rational numbers. You can select any 10. Otherwise, you can write all these numbers also. Okay? I'll write the rational numbers between 2 and 3. Say, first I will write in decimal form. 2. 2 is nothing but 2.0. 3. 3 means 3.0. Okay, in decimal form we can write like that. Now, the rational numbers between 2.0 and 3.0, very easily we can write. Okay, 2.1, next 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, like that up to 2.9. Okay, all these are in between 2.0 and 3.0. So, 2.1 in decimal form, we can change into rational form P by Q. 21 by 10, this is 22 by 10, this is 23 by 10, like that. Okay? See? Now, 2, I am writing as 2 by 1. Okay? No change here. Next, multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. Okay? You will get 20 by 10. Now, take 3 also. Write 3 by 1. Now, multiply both numerator and denominator by 10 by 10. Okay? You will get 30 by 10. See, 20 by 10, 30 by 10. These are like fractions. You can write easily the numbers between these two. After 20 by 10, you will get 21 by 10. Next, 22 by 10. Next, 23 by 10. Like that, up to 29 by 10, you will get. Okay? All these are less than 30 by 10 and also greater than 20 by 10. Depends. Here, 9 rational numbers in P by Q form you are writing between 20 by 10 and 30 by 10. Suppose we need some more numbers we have to write between these two. Then you change as 2, 200 by 100. 3 as 300 by 100. Now, between 2 and 3 means between 200 by 100 and 300 by 100. What are the numbers you will get? 201 by 100, 202 by 100. 203 by 100, like this, up to 299 by 100. All these are less than 300 by 100 and also greater than 200 by 100. Means between 2 and 3, see how many rational numbers we are getting here? 201 to 299, nearly 99 numbers we are getting here. So, if you want still more, 2000 by 1000, 3000 by 1000, like that you can write. Okay, that is one type of method. This is one type of method. Now, we will write in different method also, that is mean method. So, finding the rational numbers between two rational numbers using mean method, now I will explain for this problem only. See, using mean method, suppose A is one rational method and B is another rational method, then the rational number between A and B is a plus B by 2. This lies between A and B. Okay. This is the method we use here also. Now I am taking A is 2 and B is 3. Now what is A plus B by 2? 2 plus 3 by 2. That is 5 by 2. Okay. It means 2 after that 5 by 2 after that 3. This is the order. Okay, 5 by 2 lies exactly between 2 and 3. 5 by 2 is nothing but 2 and half. Okay, right. Now I am taking this as A and this one as B. Okay, so A is 2 and B is 5 by 2. Now what is A plus B by 2? A plus B by 2. See, 2 plus 5 by 2 by 2 once again. Okay, 2 plus 5 by 2, it means 2 5 by 2. 
2 2 is a 4. 4 plus 5, 9. 9 by 2 numerator by 2. 2 I am writing as 2 by 1. Next change is 9 by 2 into 2 by 1 will be as 1 by 2. We can change. 9 by 2, 2 is 4. So, 2 after that 9 by 4. Next 5 by 2 and 3. 9 by 4 lies exactly between 2 and 5 by 2. Now, I am taking this one as A and this one as B. Okay, we will calculate one more. So, A, I am taking 5 by 2. Now, B is 3. Okay, see, what is A plus B by 2? A, 5 by 2 plus here 3 by 2 average. Okay, average of these two. Mean means. See, 3 plus 5 by 2, it is 3, 5 by 2. 3, 2 is 6, 6 plus 5, it is 11 by 2 numerator. You can do taking as LCM 2, okay? Like that also you can take. 2 is LCM, 2, 2, 1 times, 5 plus 3, 3 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 by 2 you will get, okay? By 2, I am writing as 2 by 1. So what is 11 by 2 and this one I am changing as 1 by 2. So 11 by 4, okay? So numbers, 2, after that 9 by 4 and 5 by 2, next in between these two, 11 by 4 and 3. See, like this, we can find rational numbers between 2 and 3 using mean method. Okay? In this way, we will solve one more simple problem. Uh, last problem, write the rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 4. Say, 2 by 3 and 3 by 4, denominators 3 and 4. What is LCM of 3 and 4? Is 3, 4, 12. Okay. LCM is 12. Now we will make these two like fractions. Present, these are unlike fractions. So how to make 2 by 3 is, I am multiplying both numerator and denominator by 4. Okay. You will get 2, 4, 8, 3, 4, 12. Okay. Denominator 12. Like that, 3 by 4 also I am changing by multiplying both numerator and denominator by 3. Then 3, 3 is 9, 4, 3 is 12. So, these two like fractions. This is 8 by 12 and this is 9 by 12. Okay, like fractions. Now, we can write 8 by 12 into 10 by 10. Suppose, this is 80 by 120. Now, 9 by 12. We can write as 9 by 12 into 10 by 10. This is 90 by 120. Okay. These two also like fractions. 80 by 120, 90 by 120. Now between these two, we can write 81 by 120, 82 by 120, 83 by 120, like that up to 89 by 120. All these are less than 90 by 120 and also greater than 80 by 120. So, we can get 9 numbers like this. If you want still more numbers, change this as 800 by 1200. This is 900 by 1200. Then you will get still more numbers. Okay? This is one type of method. Now, mean method, I will solve this. Now, I am taking A, 2 by 3, and B, 3 by 4. Okay? Now, using mean method, I am finding the rational number between these two rational numbers. What is that number? A plus B by 2. Here A is 2 by 3, B is 3 by 4, and average of these two. Okay? Now see, 12 is LCM, 3 fourths, 4 twos, 8. Plus 4 threes, 3 threes, 9. By one second, 2 is there. This is 17 by 12. And this one is 2, 2 means 2 by 1, it is 1 by 2, I am changing. Here, 17 by 12, 2 is 24. So, exactly 2 by 3 and 17 by 24, this is less than 3 by 4. So, 17 by 24 is mean of 2 by 3 and 3 by 4. So, using mean method also, we can find the values. Okay? Right. If you like my videos, please share, comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you.